Hi everyone, I'm going to show you my chaotic, crazy, messy workspace right here. <laughs> it's absolute chaos and I really need to clean it up. Um, plus, I also have um, something that I've been meaning to do for a while with the black shelves at the back. And that is add in another shelf because there seems to be a lot of wasted space in there so let's see how it goes everything has been removed except that light that other light is on the ground um, I will make changes to that so let me take you <coughs> excuse me over to the table I set up an entire trestle table to transfer everything onto and I know it's all spread out and there were things on shelves and whatnot but my gosh all of this was over there it's like how on earth did that all go there so but I do I do see things that are going to be thrown out and I've got the idea for the extra shelf and changing the lights so we'll get on with it hey so I went out to the garage and I picked up these pieces of wood they just jumped out at me they went pick me pick me so I thought oh there's always that possibility that you will fit if not if you're too long I can just saw you down but get a look at that it is absolutely schmick perfect it sits right in there like it was literally cut to be there so really stoked with that for two bits of scrap that are sitting around to be such a perfect fit there you go they are 42 by 19 millimeters and I don't know the actual length because like I said they were scrap so but I, I hate to throw things away so I've got a lot of scrap <laughs> um, so I put those bottles in to measure how high I would want the wood and I've screwed it into place which is already off the side so now I also have these four slats, which are also scrap or leftovers from a project. And so that's going to do nicely. So I have to cut those down. There we go. Need straight cuts, use a miter saw. Perfect miter saw, miter something, tool thing. <laughs> And so then I made some supports, uh, measured up the length I needed, saw, sawed those down. Oh, I'm not so great with words right now. Um, so yeah, so now just to put those in place, using leftover wood, making sure the ends are lined up all flush with that. And then I have some uh, PVA wood glue and so I've just put some of that into this little shot glass because that would be far easier than trying to tilt the whole whole bottle so just spreading that over the support piece and I'm sorry I was trying to film and do at the same time so just spreading that around and then put that back in place and then add a little bit extra to where I'm going to flip it over onto the slats so so just yep so that's the placement when I flip the the support over onto that glue on the slats 
and then I will weight them down uh, to make sure make sure they get a nice uh, pressure because I don't have any clamps and then screw them in from the top As you can see there I have drilled them out just a little to countersink the screws so that the shelf was nice and uh, flush flat smooth all the words all the words so that's where we're up to so now that that's all completed everything's looking great and flowing really nicely so and I've even still got some leftovers to put back in the scrap pile so happy joy all right so out the back to spray paint uh, this is fiddly bits got this at Bunnings in flat black so I'm going to spray the wood that I already um, screwed onto the shelf and this shelf that I have created so while that's drying I've come inside and I've adjusted the lights so I've reduced them down because they're floor lamps so they have about six of these sections to give it that height the whatever height you need so because I want them to sit on the table you just take out remove sections that's, that's all there is to it so now they're both ready to go into place all right the spray paint is all dry you can see on the shelf there that the two little bits at the sides are already black and here we have the shelf that I created that I built and pop that in push it to the back ta-da I was so thrilled and I tell you this was a really stinking hot day my god and I had the most fun doing this so there's a bit of a close-up how it looks you can see the tops of the screws in the wood you can yeah I'm so happy with it so, and it will just sit there I will put little stoppers in there to stop it from sliding backwards and forwards but for the moment it's all set so now it's time to set everything up and get ready ta-da again it's so magical today it's like zing so everything is back that entire trestle table is packed up everything so I've got look um, let's go higher 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 um, mediums flow troll silicon up the top um, some Copic markers alcohol inks tape then the cups the paints and in this little slide out boxy thing is the hair combs and the string and um, what do you call it? palette knives so at the back of the table we've got some crushed glass and at the moment I've got the tripod sitting over here to the left which is where it was before but I will work at having it in this position so that the two lamps are above and behind evenly on either side so there we go look at that workspace oh I love it when it's so clean and tidy <laughs> so yeah there we have it I hope you're enjoying this it's just a little something a little extra <clears throat> so I think it looks amazing and we'll see how it goes oh hang on over here is where I put everything to dry um, so it's all along one wall and it's a, just a desk that I've covered in I think it was a, a shower curtain plastic 
and then once I've put the paintings down there I rest that core flute which is just at the left bit onto those paint tubs and that sits over the top of them so there we go another angle thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it be kind be creative and be fabulous bye